next guest now. Chris Kay is the owner of Atocalypse Food Truck. I know that you say it's a little hard to say, but I've been saying it so often because I've been so excited that you're coming in today yeah. that I said it very <laughs> easily. Um, welcome. Thanks for bringing some goodies. It Absolutely. smells amazing it's in here. It smells amazing yeah. right now. Talk a little bit about how you got into the food truck business. Uh, so it was actually, this is actually my favorite story to tell. Um, <laughs> my wife at the, uh, was at the time was pregnant with my son, Finnegan, and she had a, um, a, a disease that was basically, it's called hyperemesis. So she was very sick through all nine months of mm -hmm. her pregnancy, um, had a very tough time keeping stuff down, food and everything. We found out that Chipotle and guacamole were two things that she was really able to eat a lot of. Really? Yes. So, which is totally random. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I started, I have, you know, I actually own another business as well. And uh, after I would get home from uh, running my bread route, I would come home, I would make her fresh guac and make sure that her bathroom was all nice and clean Aww. for her to get sick in and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how sweet. <laughs> and, um, you know, we, we just kind of started playing around with some different guacs and salsas, and uh, one thing led to another. A lot of people started coming up to us, asking us, you know, if we could start making guacamoles and salsas for them for their parties, and uh, we figured what goes better with guacamole than tacos. Yeah. So <laughs> we came up uh, with a couple different cool different tacos, and... Um, came up with the name the Atocalypse and So when was the food truck born? What year? <laughs> uh, it was about, it was five years ago, so... Okay. Uh, my son was born, and then we opened up. He was born in August, and then uh, we opened up in September. So the whole time she was kind of going through her pregnancy, I yeah. was also kind of writing a business plan and everything yeah. as well. And um, we got to this part here, and here we are. Six now, years are later. you year round, or do you have to put the truck away during the winter? I do put the truck away during mm -hmm. the winter. It is a little bit difficult with uh, keeping the water. Uh, you know, for our hand washing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. we need to make sure that that stays, you know, nice and thawed and everything. Yeah. Obviously, you want hot water to wash our hands and our yeah. fruits and veggies and stuff. So um, it is easier for me to close during the, during the winter. Um, you know, as I said, I do have another business that I do run during the winter and everything. And then during the summer, uh, I actually have a school teacher that helps me uh, run that business. Okay. And that gives me some, frees me up some time to sure. take this out and do lunches and parties and breweries and all that yep. kind of festivals stuff. and stuff yeah so what is exactly on the menu obviously tacos guac and chips will do yeah. it for me but <laughs> yeah so uh our biggest thing that we always wanted to do was we wanted to give our customers something totally different that they don't usually make at home mm -hmm. um you know yeah you have your ground beef lettuce cheese sour mm -hmm. cream we do have one of those tacos we call it the karen um <laughs> 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 and then we, we do also have a lot of different things. Uh, so we have your basic stuff, your chicken, your pulled porks. Uh, we like to mess around with some different flavors. Um, one of my good friends, uh, she is, owns the Buena Cucina oil company down on 8th Street. I use a lot of her oils and vinegars in our, in our recipes. Um, gives you a whole other flavor profile. And that's what we were trying to do is trying to kind of surprise your palate. You know, we want to hit... All, all sides of your tongue, you know, we yeah. want the sweet, we want the salty, we want the hot, we want the, yeah. you know. What is the secret stuff. to this guacamole? Because I'm telling you, it smells amazing. This is actually one of my favorite guacamoles that I do. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a different, um, it's a different ingredient that we use. So I use cantaloupe in this one. Oh. Do you really? Okay. Yes. And that's one thing that people are kind of always let's, like. I know. Let's, yeah, let's while he's talking, cantaloupe. let's get in there. There's your um, cup there. But with the fats from the avocados and stuff like that, the uh, sweetness from the cantaloupe really comes mm -hmm. through and it makes it kind of something totally different and kind of surprising as well. It's really, really good. Yeah, uh, everything is all 100%, you know, all fresh, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, fresh cilantros and onions and jalapenos and lime Love juice. Love it. I just, I just can't get past the fact that your, that your wife was um, morning sickness all the time, but this was okay with yeah. her, This was you know? all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we did, uh, I, that's all my girlfriend eats anyway, so <laughs> it's like the same Yeah, thing. we did, we, we did uh, you know, rice, peppers, onions for her. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, um, and my son, to this day, he's he'll be uh, seven this year. Mm -hmm. And to this day, this is his favorite thing to eat. As so well. good. So the whole time he was in the womb, it was keeping him happy. Yeah. And here he is. What's the first age. day that the uh, Atacalypse van is or truck is hitting the road? Uh, Where we find it? Yeah. yeah. This year we're going to be uh, starting. Uh, I believe as of right now is March 25th. We're going to be down at the Copper Carriage. Uh, we're going to be doing their spring show. And then we have a whole bunch of different fun things this summer. Um, 
Tim from Qabides, I believe you guys had him not too mm -hmm. long ago. Uh, we're going to be doing a taco throwdown with our friends over at Erie Ale Works on May 7th. Okay. Um, May 5th, we're going to be at the Garage Gala, and we have uh, the Beer on the Bay, and we'll do, be down in Edinburgh for the 4th of July fireworks. So we kind of like to try and move around and everything, and the exactly. best place to find us is... Let's have you back this summer. We'll have you park out front, and we'll just keep <laughs> going, coming back and, yeah. and taste testing everything. Chris, thank you so much. Thank thank you it's so delicious. Much. delicious. Check thank out you. the uh, Tacalips food truck when it is out <laughs> and about. Uh, you've got a Facebook page yes, so Facebook, that you can follow Instagram. and know where they are. Chris, thanks so much. Thank, thank you. you.